Welcome back to SMX Insider. I'm Jason Wygant. We interviewed Vanilla Ice, Robbie Van Winkle, on our SMX Insider show this week, but he decided impromptu to give us a house tour of his car collection, his dirt bike collection, his motocross trophies, and everything else. So we're going to throw this right now on YouTube here. It's your SMX Insiders Extra with Vanilla Ice. Yeah, happy to be here, man. Thank you, guys. Had a blast the other day in Tampa, man. I mean, it was just oh, unbelievable. Good. Rain rain or not, you know. And uh, we can talk about that, too, because uh, I was hanging out with Chad Reed, and I was and I was just, ironically, I was talking about, you know, some of the greatest rain uh, races I've ever seen <laughs> when he was uh, – and I was just sitting there, and I go, oh, he, we were looking out the window. I was with him, his lovely, awesome family, you know, and everybody was there, and uh, it started pouring down rain, and I go, yeah, you know, it makes for good racing sometimes for the spectators, you know. <laughs> and then I go, oh, my God, speaking of that, remember the yeah. race when you yeah. did every lap at Daytona? <laughs> And you you made it 10 feet from the finish line and the bike went kaput, you know, it just completely. And it was stuck in a rut, sticking straight yeah. up. Yeah. And he couldn't make it 10 feet, man. 10 mm -hmm. feet. He tried to walk over the finish line. They said, no, you need to be with your bike. <laughs> I mean, it, at one point, I remember him walking away. I just wanted to jump over. I was right there, too. I wanted to jump over the fence, me and Wes Kane, and help mm -hmm. him push that bike over. <laughs> and he can't. It's like, oh, and then he throws his hands up and he walks away. And I was just like, man, I don't even know who won because it was, you know, so memorable uh, yep. just watching that race that, you know. And then another rain race that was one of the most memories. Doug Henry lapped everybody in Dallas at, uh, at in the most, I mean, just pouring down rain. Yeah. The whole yeah. entire race was just flooding man and it did not let up and doug henry did not let up and i've never seen anybody go that fast in the rain he literally was hitting every nobody not mcgrath was i think racing he he was he, he didn't do every, the triple you remember yeah. this race yeah doug henry Bro, was doing he the, didn't triple. Do the triple he that's why he got henry lapped everybody up to second place and was lapping people a third and fourth time towards the end when the finish i've never seen anybody go so fast in the rain man I'm like, what is, you guys got a whole nother rain gear. <laughs> Shoot, you're a bad luck charm. I don't know how, if you've been to those in person, we're lucky it didn't happen again. You've been to, it seems like the races you go to end up being epic mutters. But we got, we got super lucky on Saturday. <laughs> hey, from a rider standpoint, I get that too. Rain, the rain sucks, you know, but, uh, yeah. you know, that's part of it. You know, I love it that it's, uh, it's not like, uh, you know, baseball where you got to cancel the event, you know. <laughs> that's right. Rain or shine. Yeah. Get out there and show us how man you are, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's kept it exciting uh, for the fans also. Hey, do you, I know you grew up racing and all that. Um, do you yep. still find time with a brewery and a TV show and music and all this and watching these races? Do you still find time to get on a bike yourself? Oh, hell yeah. Come you on, do. man. You know, uh, as a motocrosser, no matter how old you are, no matter what you're doing in life, no matter how busy you are, you can't, you can't quit. It's in your blood, you know? So for me, yeah, I got a I got a brand new KX out there. I ordered one of those Stark Vargs because I think they're cool. Oh, I Electrify. Rock. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. those Stark Vargs are pretty cool just to, you know, just to have something like neat, you know, and mm -hmm. new and modern or whatever. But uh, I'll always keep a four stroke. And uh, yeah, I even have a 19, um, 1985 CR 125 Elsinore perfectly restored like the one I raced back at Loretta Lens in Ponca. Wow. And uh and I remember Bevo Bevo Forte, man. He he came out, gave me my first pair of goggles. I must have been 11, 12, <laughs> and I'll never forget it. And I saw him the other day, gave him a big hug cuz we've been friends throughout the years, you know. I know tons of people who uh throughout the industry. So I yeah, I love it. But uh what a legend he is, man. And uh I I'll never forget, you know, I I even have a lot of the trophies from the 80s and everything set up around the bike. Like I have this little like you know section there where it's all 1980s moto <laughs> <laughs> got old That's photos jt racing gear you know just open face helmets johnny o'mara style leg boots <laughs> <laughs> I, it's cool because i'm sure you've met a lot of famous people you've gotten a lot of cool stuff uh the fact that you still got the motocross stuff in your heart uh that means a lot you remember getting your first pair of free goggles that says a lot right there Hell yeah. Your first pair. Come on, man. You didn't have to pay for it. And, and you know, you earned it. You felt like, you know, your racing ability got you those goggles, you know. Are we going on a tour you. right now? Yeah, I'm going to take you on a tour. Oh, so this is awesome. I'm walking and talking. Yep. I figured it'd, I figured it'd be fun. Sorry I'm, if I get you guys dizzy, but uh, 
No, I do it all yeah. the time. I respect it. Okay. So huge Ninja Turtle fan, uh, obviously. Oh, remember movie, the movie? Oh yeah. I have an old. Oh, box there it is. Head. There's my bike right there. So I got the uh, the Ninja Turtle graphics. That is amazing. <laughs> hey, I remember the song. I know. <laughs> go Ninja, go Ninja, go! Heck uh, yeah! I got my box van here. It's tools in the back. Still got dirt in there. You remember the old box vans? Oh yeah, yeah. You wait. That yeah, that's not a trailer. That's a that's a straight up box van. Yeah, yeah. That's a, a, a box. Remember the box vans? Oh yeah, that was the eighties. Remember style. the box van look? Eighties, nineties style, totally. Look at that, bro. You remember? Oh, that's it. Actually, that's like for a box you, van. That's high end. That was high end. That is, yeah, that's big pimping, man. You want to go to the races? That's how you do it right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was factory level. Well, this is cool. All right, there's no joke. You got dirt bikes, and you're going riding, and most importantly, you went to the race. You had a good time, just like any other yeah. spectator there, and you're watching on Saturday night. That's pretty cool. Oh, man, I love it. I'd be watching it whether I was home or at the track, and it just so happens that uh, I called Ricky Carmichael, and he just was like, get your butt out of here, man. And uh, I was I was parked way out in the, in the field. I brought my electric bike and i said i'm just gonna walk you know ride my bike and park and just get out and beat the crap and i got a call and he says get your butt up here we got parking vip up here i was like nice. parked right in the front man i i walked in i right to the the finish line who did i see there i saw like i don't know marantz was there and roxon and everybody i said hello but uh so cool man and i just walked right in and i had just driven four hours to get there I love it. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Yeah. Still an enthusiast through and through. That's pretty cool. And uh, what do you got going? You got Vanilla Ice Project and you got a brewery you said you're working on? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, building a brewery. Got four floors here downtown. Uh, Palm Beach. It's called Lake Worth. And uh, I got an ocean view rooftop uh, bar. I'm doing the whole thing. I don't know if you guys have seen my construction show. So uh, over the years, uh, we, you know, DIY HGTV. And uh, so Wes Kane, a good friend of mine and, and I, we've been, uh, you know, friends forever, forever and ever and ever. And he, you know, he's uh, he uh, he's a great worker and uh, actually contracted worker to do con concrete and everything. So we we've been building homes for a long, long time, man. And uh, we're still the oldest teenagers in town. We love it, but we get things done, man. We're like ants on a candy bar and we don't stop until we drop. But uh Great awesome. guy building a brewery right now. We build lots of houses. We're filming all this, so you'll be able to see it on on. Uh, it'll be on the uh, the what is the app called Discovery Plus things stuff like that. You know, so can't keep up with all the streaming stuff, man. It's crazy. You get so many channels to flip through. But I walked over here uh, oh. because I wanted to show you uh, okay. a little bit of love. I hope my camera doesn't lose. Uh, so far, so I good. Oh, we I got lose. it all. We got classic car yeah, collection. Here. There it is. The motocross section. There so that's is. just that's the exact bike you raced, or that's just like a bike you raced. Oh in God, I wish it was the exact bike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Scott, you know Scott Burnworth got me this bike actually. That's rad. Yep. And and Mitch Payton brought it to me from California. I bought this in California, so it's it was already restored. You know. And oh, so Mitch helped put that, that together. I, so it's the same one I actually rode back in the day, right there. Yeah. What's the what's the butt patch there? What's the nickname on the back? Sweetness, uh, man! I was sweetness before Dr. Pepper. Look sweetness. You remember when Pink was in? I had the pink gear. Remember uh, who was it? Ricky like Brock Johnson? Lover style, yeah. Brock Lover. That's who it yeah. was. Brock Lover, my yeah. man. Brock Lover. Hey, but look here. Let me show you now. Don't look at the years. No, no. Okay. <laughs> well, you already said it's an '85 motorcycle. So, look oh, at look that. at that. <laughs> NMA 1984. Moto love, bro. That is awesome. Love. And you and you <laughs> gave it the top floor of the garage. I respect that. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. You know, the cars are cool, but the motorcycle is the, the king of the crown up here, you know? There you it's go. Got its own, it's got its own uh got its own deck up here, man. I made for that. Okay, that is awesome. And by the way, did I spot a rolling in a 5.0 Mustang white convertible down there at the base of his trophy room? That's pretty awesome. Vanilla ice. He's still doing pretty well in life. Thanks for watching.